Hey everyone, I'm Shane Wheeler. This is Filigree Racing, and this is where all the magic is about to happen. We've been building on our car for about two years now. We are very active on Facebook, Instagram, and now we're going to be coming to YouTube. This video here, we're going to go over the previous things that we've done to the car. We will be giving you a breakdown on what our settings are, what we've done, along with what we're planning for the future. Without further ado, we're gonna go into time-lapse mode, get the car in here, get it up on lifts, and then after we do that, we'll give you an in-depth breakdown of all of our suspension, our engine compartment, and everything else. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the engine bay since it's nice and easy. There's nothing really too complex. It's pretty easy to see. First off, we have the Corksport short ram intake with a dry flow so that that way you don't worry about the oil getting onto your mass airflow sensor. Next, we go ahead and we have the short shift plate it's down here, but you can't see it. I can't even see it where I'm at. So, I mean, it, it's in there. Next, we have Quirk Sports uh, Strut Tower Bar, which we went ahead, we powder coated it white. We powder coated the mounting brackets black. I prefer it better than the blue and the raw aluminum look but that's all just for a personal preference. Now, next we have Amsoil Dominator Brake Fluid. You know, our brakes get hot. We wanna make sure that that's not gonna be a problem. Next, we have Cork Sports Equal Length 421 Header. We are one of two cars that we've seen with it. Hopefully they're gonna be releasing it soon. I believe that their date is now set for December 15th. We actually went through and we tested that. We gained phenomenal power, probably one of our best performance gains as far as horsepower goes. I wanna say that we gained, um, I think it was 26, Six horsepower? No, we gained 26 torque and we gained about 10 horsepower peak. But the big advantage with it was, was we gained substantial in the mid range, which is where you're actually gonna be at most of the time, which definitely benefits you in the long run. All right, here we are on our front suspension. We have hard race end links here that are adjustable. Those will actually be coming off this season along with the front sway bar itself. We have Cork Sports Big Brake Kit. This was red before. Obviously, it's now been heat treated a few times and it's no longer even close to red. We're equipped with G-Lock R8 race pads on the front with Cork Sports standard big brake rotor. We go ahead and we spin this and you can see our power needy stainless braided brake line is also on here. And that pretty much sums up the front. Not a whole lot's changing this next season. Okay, now we're here at the back. This is pretty simple, but you're not gonna see a whole lot, specifically from the angle that it's at. We have StopTech slotted discs. Again, MX-5 extended studs. 
G-Lock R8 rear pads. We will be stepping down to G-Locks. I think they're GS21, which is their street friendly pad. We're just simply too aggressive in the rear. Next, we have another Power Needy stainless braided brake line. If you guys need these, I can order them for you. Not a big deal. We also have Cork Sports camber arm kit. We powder coated it um, white. We will be repainting them so you'll be able to see those. Down here, we actually have Hard Race's toe arm. It's blue, not really fond of the blue, but we will be painting those as well when we do the rest. We have a upgraded spring. And then back in here, if you guys can see it, is another Hard Race adjustable end link connected to cork sports rear sway bar that'll also be coming off and we'll be repainting it and that pretty much sums up of what's going on on the back all right that goes ahead and that sums up the majority of what we have i did forget something such as our engine mount trans mount the power needy gurney flap base in our rear wing we have aeroforce gauges on our vent pods that are made by block eight head but that pretty much sums up the majority of what we've done so far in the last two years. I've got a couple hours worth of work to do now. So I'm going to put it back into time lapse mode. More than welcome to watch me as I pull our front axles along with our coilovers.